welcome to my channel. My name is Cecilia from White Wolf. Today we're going to discuss the top 5 most unknown kinds of black magic slash voodoo. So let's just start. In short, what is all of that? That's just something people do. Send energies, uh, bad things to another to make sure the person you send it to doesn't feel well. And I think that's bad. <laughs> and of course I remove those things. But I want to share with all these years I have my own practice now what I think are the most unknown kinds of voodoo and maybe you're helped with that or maybe the person you know is helped with this. Let's start at five and then work up to the most unknown. Five is in my opinion previous lives. This means that you've lived before and someone, whatever kind it was, sent voodoo to you and then when you die Voodoo was still on you. And this means that if you're born, you have some sort of, well, you're behind. You could have more easier mental problems, mental disorders maybe, or just you feel cursed all your life. And that's true. In fact, you are because of previous life. And then at some point in life, maybe you get familiar with the word magic or voodoo. And then you try to explain this with the more known voodoo kinds could actually be that there's nothing wrong except for the thing in your past life and that's attracting bad luck so be open for this kind of problem also tech or yours on the fourth place it's intimate magic this means that someone does voodoo to you uh, via intercourse or via your underwear or via a toilet seat it makes sure that the magic powder will get inside your body and then you have voodoo on you or should I say inside you with all the symptoms that are related to that for example you feel possessed or you feel like you're raped or you can't bear a child or you want to cheat on your partner all because of those weird voodoos inside you okay so we're going to the more and more unknown voodoo kinds this one is that you trade problems. So stealing happiness is a little bit more known. And that's that if you succeed at something, then it gets stolen by magic or ghosts and they return that to the one who wants to destroy you and then they get your happiness. And you don't or you lose it quickly after you gained it. But this one is to trade problems. This means that the one who is after you has a problem, doesn't want that anymore, but doesn't want to do anything about that. For example, their hair falls out or they have thyroid issues or maybe bad eyesight and then they can get rid of that easily. And then they find a way to cheat and then send their problems to you and switch it for the things you do have and you do have in order. And then they gain the things they didn't have and you lose them so it's trading problems and it's very weird of course you can just call that black magic and it's true but the more details you know the more effective you can remove those kinds of food so that's a weird one it doesn't come around often here in my practice but it does sometimes so it's good to know about and then the second one already i call it sometimes having black magic on you so this means for example you have a own uh, business or restaurant and then someone puts voodoo in front of the door with the powder and you don't see that and the powder will affect customers or yourself or your health or maybe that the food will go bad something it, it does something to your practice and that's bad but most people nowadays maybe believe in those magic kinds and they will maybe figure it out if something goes so bad and then they get rid of the food, right? So what do people do who are not in their right mind? They put food in front of the restaurant the way they wanted to, but they give the instruction to the food that they should only be active the first week for example of every month so that first week everything goes bad but the other weeks it goes well 
in the hope that they still lose their money and still lose customers just because of that week. So that's a really weird one. <laughs> it's hard to recognize. And that's not even the weirdest one because we're going there right now. The weirdest one is, I don't, I don't know the words. They send something to you in a way and then there's energy and it will cause disturbance in some way. And the way is that they trade something in your life. It's really weird. For example, you're just living your life and everything is normal, right? And then you get, for example, a promotion at work. This means you're happy. So I see it like fingers. You have four things in life, maybe. <laughs> and then something good happens at work. And then something goes a little bit up, right? And then there's this magic. He sees that and he's always like in this line. And he's like, hey, it's not in balance anymore. And then they take something down. So whenever you do something good, something will go bad. And this keeps happening. So this level again, you uh, get a nice relationship. That's, that's super. So one good thing goes up and then the magic is like, okay, but now something has to go down because otherwise there's no balance, fake balance, of course. And then they push something down. For example, name anything, you lose your job or you get an injury. And it doesn't really feel like voodoo because things are still really going well. And then the thing you have to be wary about is, are you accidentally trading something? I hope I explained it well because it's it's really hard to explain, but just it's like there's been put some kind of level and every time you're over that level, you have to deliver. For example, if your happiness limit was 10 as it should be, it's been reduced to seven. And then every time something goes up to an eight or nine, another thing has to go down to a five. It just feels weird to have that on you. So that was it for um, the top five <laughs> of the most unknown voodoo in the world. I hope you learned something. Maybe you want to let me know what you learned. And also don't forget to subscribe. And until next time.